Bronx President Ruben Diaz Jr. joined the students at PS 107 in Soundview for a collaboration that brought together middle and high school students. And this is one of six schools that are participating in our Code Bronx Tech Day. Uh, and that's important because we've, mar we've married some students in high school who are um, in advanced placement in computer sciences, where they come in and teach our kids how to code, the computer education, um, and the importance of technology, since it's all around us in this day and age. Two students from the Bronx Compass High School guided these young scholars as computer science role models to egg on future computer scientists. Shaquem Nemhard says he got into coding because of his mother's passion for it and remembers being younger and not having such an opportunity. I remember when I was their age, and it's like I never really had any of these opportunities that they have now. And like just to be back here and like see them working on stuff that I never really got to do until I got to high school, it was like really good for me. And I feel like I'm a kid again, back at heart. <laughs> and like it's really good. Jefferson Castro, a fourth grader at PS 107 who is inspired by the work of the late Steve Jobs of Apple and is looking forward to creating programs for others to enjoy when he's all grown up. In the future, um, I, 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 think, I think when I grow up, uh, I, want, I want people to feel what I feel and, and like, like Steve Jobs who inspired me, um, I, I, what I want to do is make a company and, and, and make, make stuff for people so, so that they can enjoy. His fellow schoolmate Abigail Feliciano shares with BronxNet what she's learning from coding. You can learn, like, like I said, the degrees, the angles, the shapes, and maybe the sizes. Bringing coding to Bronx schools has been so far successful, as the initiative hopes to turn Bronx students into makers instead of consumers. For more information about Code Bronx and how your school can be part of it, you can visit CodeBronx.org. This is BronxNet's Nancy Asiyama.